Alright, let's get this piece of fuel out of here. Grandpa Ron here and today we're going to talk about uh, diesel fuel, uh, both the petrol diesel and the biodiesel and uh, some things you want to know about it, uh, especially if you're new to having diesels. Um, it's definitely not the same as gasoline. This is a uh, regular diesel. It's not biodiesel anything and you can see it's almost a yellowish color. Biodiesel is a slightly more uh, honey colored or a little bit darker. So anyway. Yeah, diesel smells. Not only does it smell, but it doesn't evaporate. So if you get this stuff on your hands, yeah, you gotta wash it off because it's not gonna go away by itself. <sighs> now I got my gloves on. Now we can handle this. One of the things you may have heard about diesels is in the winter, uh, they have troubles with the fuel turning into a gel or a solid and they won't run. Well, let's make a test. Put some diesel in the refrigerator in the freezer and see what happens. Still looks good. In the uh, freezer for a few hours now. Yeah, summer blend. Oh yeah, you have some stuff in there, isn't there? Yep. I can see it swirling around. That's the uh, wax that plugs up a fuel filter. Okay, so it gets cloudy when it is cold. Um, what does that mean? In most states, they blend the diesel fuel to work under the expected low temperatures. Uh, what that cloudiness is, is some of the paraffin wax in it is starting to stick together and it can plug up your fuel filter. But otherwise, uh, when it warms up, it goes back into a liquid because uh, the wax is actually uh, good for your engine. Uh, it has a little bit of lubricity to it and uh, has a high energy content. So it's fine, just uh, don't get it cold. Now the question you may have is, is diesel actually safe? Uh, is it safe to transport? Is it hazardous? Uh, well, no, it's actually pretty safe uh, stuff. Uh, diesel has a lot lower vapor pressure than gasoline, and the flash point is oh, like 125 degrees. So anyway, um, if you spill some on the ground, a match doesn't really light it up, so it's not flammable in that case. It has to get pretty hot for diesel to burn. Of course, when it does burn, it burns very hot. Uh, you can actually uh, put a match to it, and it will extinguish the match. On to biodiesel. What is biodiesel? Often made from vegetable oils, sometimes from uh, restaurants use cooking oil. Uh, it also can be made from animal fat, but that's not too common. But essentially they process that to convert it into a type of diesel that you can burn in your RV. You can tell if you have biodiesel at the pump because they use a B rating, B for biodiesel. It's either B2, which is 2%, B5 is 5%, B20 is up to 20%, and you're never going to see a B100. That's pure biodiesel, but uh, you don't really use that in, in vehicles or trucks or anything. Biodiesel is a little bit different than the regular petrol diesel. It's a little heavier, a little thicker. Some of the benefits of biodiesel is it has better lubricity for the injector systems and anything where the fuel passes through. Um, so anyway, it's a little bit like a better lubricant type stuff. It has no sulfur in it at all. So all the diesels now have to be low sulfur. So sometimes the refiners will blend in a little biodiesel to help uh, reduce the sulfur content. The biodiesel also has a higher flash point, uh, meaning it won't ignite so easily. So it makes it a little bit safer. Uh, frankly, I never really saw much difference in uh, fuel economy with the uh, B20 or the dyno fuel. As far as the bad characteristics of the biofuel, uh, one thing is it can absorb a little more water than the regular petro diesel. Uh, and that water can cause a little bit of corrosion and that kind of stuff. It's pretty minor, but it can happen. 
The other thing is that uh, it'll gel quicker. It gets thicker and then it can't get through the fuel filter as well. So uh, Bile Diesel was really not used or sold in the winter in cold climates. Up like Minnesota, uh, November 1st, they're gonna switch over to the pure uh, petrol diesel. Overall, biodiesel has pluses and minuses. Uh, it might be better for the environment if you're into that. The main thing to remember about biodiesel is it's not as good in cold weather, so you're gonna want to uh, burn up any summer blend that you have before you store it for the winter. Uh, the other negative things as far as the Mercedes goes is you should change your fuel filter more often uh, because the biodiesel has a tendency to uh, loosen up some of the residue in the fuel lines in your tank from the regular petrol diesel. So that might loosen up and get into the fuel filter. So Mercedes recommends that you change your fuel filter like twice as often. Mercedes rep doesn't recommend idling your uh, engine more than five minutes if you're burning the biodiesel. The diesel particulate filter will not regenerate and it could get plugged up uh, a little sooner. Don't idle. Don't use it in really cold weather like um, you know below freezing type stuff. Otherwise, um, it seems to work fine. It's not really that big a deal to me. Yeah, diesel engine's been around for a long time, so it's really nothing to worry about. And this is Grandpa Ron, and I'll see you on the road. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below.